Depending on where you are in the country, in one year's time, the price is doubled, tripled, maybe even quadrupled. We have all complained about it. High prices mm -hmm. at the pump, grocery store, and supply chain issues. Hard not to. Boy, it's been tough. Our own Tevis Hill has spoke with a local bakery about their concerns as we move forward in 2023 with inflation at an all-time high. Well, these right here today were five bucks a dozen. Of course, we've all been talking about it. Now, just in December of 2022, they were 179. And according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, when we had our last bird flu outbreak, they jumped in price just under $3. Now, it's all affecting our wallets, of course, but it's also affecting those bakeries and businesses that are using dozens of eggs a day. Now, a case of those eggs is about $80, whereas a year ago, that might have been 35 Bird flu wiped out 10% of the Lane Hen population. But at a locally owned bakery, Twisted Tree, their owner says dairy prices are the ones hurting them. According to inflation tracker, buttermilk and cheese prices are up 30% in the last year. Here we have cost overruns because of massive inflation affecting our cost of goods. We got labor shortages in the marketplace. We have supply chain issues. So. You know, when you talk about cost of goods increases, you can't talk about that by itself. It's all boiling down to what experts are calling the perfect storm after COVID-19. According to a food industry economist, Rodney Holcomb says the extremely high fuel prices are to blame. High fuel prices affect everything. They're going to affect fertilizer and farming, which means that that's going to affect the cost of raising grain and what's your biggest uh, input in chicken production and egg production. And he adds by the second quarter of 2023, we should see a downward shift in egg prices. Comes the new inflation adjusted normal for egg prices. That we don't know yet. Tevisilis, Oklahoma Zone News 9.